I'm Laura Mark and I'm an architecture critic, curator and filmmaker based in London. I'm currently the keeper of Walmer Yard, which is a series of four houses in Notting Hill designed by Peter Salter that's now the home of the Baylight Foundation. Here I've developed a programme which aims to deepen the public's understanding of the experience of architecture. My Three Point Manifesto looks at how we can make architecture and the experience of it within our cities more open to a wider audience and how we can encourage a new generation to use their voice to shape London. So point one, drop the archie speak. We need to change the way we talk about architecture stop philosophising, using overly complicated and conceptual language, and start talking about it in a way which invites a conversation with others from outside the field. Two, stop the silos. We need to work across disciplines and get a variety of voices to deepen our understanding of how we make space and how we all experience it. We need to include everyone, from children to the marginalised and vulnerable to ensure our cities and buildings are designed with everyone in mind. Listen to people and don't dictate how they should use the space. And three, open up the arts. The, through this pandemic, we've seen people engaging with art in their own homes, from kids doing Zoom classes on Monet or Van Gogh to the nation tuning in on a Monday night to watch Grace and Perry's primetime TV show. But once this is all over, we have to ensure that these people who felt able to engage with art in their own homes feel able to cross the thresholds of our art galleries and museum spaces. We need to ensure that art is not used as a gentrification tool for the profit of developers, but that it serves its communities. Art should be open to all and all should have access to an eye-opening art or architecture education. And to conclude, this pandemic has made it clear how important architecture and our built environment is to everyone. We now have a closer connection to our homes. We realise the importance of outdoor space and better designed streets. But we cannot forget that cities are not designed or experienced equally. Our cities cannot be safe for all unless they are equitable. <laughs>